Hello and welcome. In this video, we would quickly like to share um, our results from some benchmarking. We wanted to see how different visuals, and in particular also, of course, how our visuals, the Acarius visual, perform against the standard Power BI visuals, but also in Excel. So the test scenario is based on the following specs. An Azure SQL database standard, a five-dimensional star schema, database with a fact table that contains 26,000 records for the, that were used as the table that is queried. And we are using as a semantic layer, um, Azure SQL tabular in direct query mode. So there's a live connection to the relational database. So every query will be directly fired against the SQL server. And the scenario that we have here it's a little bit unusual, so the results are actually um, likely as bad as it can, can, can get as our uh, database service in the US, and we did this test from Australia, so there's quite a latency between the two, the server and the, and the client. Um, so if you do this um, in the US or in, in, a, uh, in a region that's closer to the server, the results, are, the, the query times are likely much better. But we would think that the, the, the benchmark, how they compare against each other is likely still the same. We did this test um, a few times for each scenario and we had um, pretty much the same um, results when, whenever we did these tests. So there were no variances. And then um, and on the client side, we're using Power BI Desktop um, for uh, designing the report with the Power BI service also um, you know, of, that, of the June version. Um, we compared the Power BI um, visuals of that version against the Actaris matrix um, visual, and then also against um, Excel, how, how the same report uh, performs in Excel. So let's have a look at the results. So what we see here is a typical matrix visual that comes with Power BI with uh, account groups and accounts um, in the rows and in the columns one year of data. We have um, different dimensionalities here. So this is actually one entity and for one scenario. So let's see how long this takes to refresh. Um, I'll press here now the start button on the stopwatch and then refresh here. And we see this is now going. It's Get the stopwatch back. So on the left top, we have the progress indicator. So the Power BI report is now refreshing. So we're now at nearly 20 seconds. And it has finished in 25 seconds. So let's do the same thing for the Actaris matrix issue. Get our stopwatch back again. So it's exactly the same report. I haven't changed anything here. So we'll do now the same thing. Press start here and refresh. Get back the stopwatch to show. So this is now refreshing here. And we see it took nine seconds to refresh with the Actaris matrix. So roughly three times the amount in the normal matrix than it takes in the Actaris matrix. So let's vary the benchmark a little bit. Um, so I've removed the calculations that we had before that obviously take quite a bit of time. So we are here in a direct query scenario, so it has to calculate those on the fly. So here we have again the Actaris matrix where you can drill up and drill down as you require. And let's do now the benchmark based on just the amount, no calculation. So I'm bringing back the stopwatch. So we're now here at zero. So let's see how long this takes to refresh. So start and refresh. So we see this is now going. And it took about seven seconds to refresh, even though it'd be a bit less. So let's do the same thing for the standard matrix. 
So here we've got now the standard matrix, obviously exactly the same report. So same thing as before, start and refresh. You see the indicators going here. Took about 12 seconds to refresh on here. So let's continue our benchmark and have a look now how exactly the same report performs in the pivot tab. Um, press the stopwatch and refresh all. Here it's a bit hard for me to bring up the stopwatch, so I will just try to put the stopwatch back once the which was now 12 seconds. So it took 12 seconds to refresh in the pivot table. So here now the summary of the results. For any further questions, please feel free to contact us. We're not saying this is the general situation, but this were the results that we got. And we're very interested to see what your experiences are and um, maybe how our results differ from yours. Please um, feel free to contact us at these details.